Hey guys, welcome back to Gator's Corner. Uh, still a little under the weather, so I'm not quite back yet to my perky self. But I just watched an amazing movie called The Revenant, and I just wanted to come and talk to you guys about it. So, here's your spoiler alert. I will definitely be giving away a, everything basically to do with the movie. So if you haven't seen it yet, or uh, you know you just don't want to hear the spoilers, whatever. So time time to get out right now. Chew. So The Revenant is a story about this guy named Hugh Glass. Uh, they don't have very much on this guy other than folklore uh, but basically it's a story about a guy who was on some form of an expedition leading a group of you know frontiersmen or whatever back in the day uh, across the freaking wilderness and he gets attacked by a bear and his people basically leave him behind and ditch him and it's basically his journey to still survive and come back and try to seek his revenge there are so many amazing uh, scenes in this movie, I'm telling you. The way it was filmed was phenomenal. The, the director is the same guy who did uh, Gravity, which, if you haven't seen Gravity, go check it out. Uh, even though it has Sandra Bullock in there, which I just don't care for her. Uh, but the filming, the way it was done, it's just it's amazing. It's definitely an experience. And that's how The Revenant is. It's an experience. It's something you walk away with feeling like you just watched something new, you know? Something new that hasn't been done before. You definitely feel that with The Revenant. It's Phenomenal. Uh, one of the best scenes in the, maybe the best scene in the entire movie is the bear attack. When he's out there scouting ahead and he comes across a couple cubs and a mama bear just comes running him down. I mean, this lasts for five, six minutes. You're sitting there watching this and you're just captivated the entire time. At one point, you think it's done. You know, the bear uh, runs off and he's sitting there breathing and gets his gun ready and everything just in case it comes back. And you're thinking, okay, this is the end. This is it. The next thing you know, another freaking two, three minutes of them of this bear just tearing into him. And I'm telling you, I feel like Leonardo DiCaprio won at the Oscar so bad that he literally let a bear attack him. That's how real this is. They do such a great job. Uh, one part, uh, the bear's just on top of him and like puts its paw on its head. And it's just like, you can tell the bear's just getting its breath back. It's just like, <sighs> you know, just looking around stuff. It's... It's crazy how real it feels when you're watching it. I watched this video on YouTube once about these uh, wolves that attack this hunting dog or whatever, and it, it's like a 12 minute video. And I feel like a lot of the way that all happened and went down, it felt very similar to this. So when it comes to captivating an actual bear attack to actually capturing that, I mean, I feel like they killed it, they nailed it, it's so good. Leonardo DiCaprio, once again, putting together a performance that deserves recognition, that deserves an Oscar. How he hasn't gotten an Oscar yet, I know a million people ask, it's the big joke in Hollywood. Uh, I don't find it very funny. I think he's deserved about four of them by now. And the fact that he hasn't gotten it's ridiculous. If he doesn't get it for this, I'm truly going to believe that there's some kind of conspiracy. Because I've yet to see any other performance out there in these other movies that are nominated that even gets close to living up to what he pulled off here. And Tom Hardy, he should be a shoe-in for Best Supporting Actor. I can't remember what it was, uh, some kind of award thing just an announced their nominations. He wasn't even nominated or whatever for Best Supporting Actor, which is insane to me. He's phenomenal. You guys have seen his work. Him and Leo together, I, I just want them to keep doing movies together because it's gold. Two of the best actors we have in Hollywood right now work it together. I mean, what more can you really ask for? Such great performances by both of them in this movie. Uh, you're going to love it. If you like them actors, you're going to like them even more. I just, I want to go to theaters again immediately, and I want to go watch it again. I want to I want to watch it ten times. I feel like every time I watch it, I'm going to, it's going to feel fresh again. That's how good it is. To watch Leonardo DiCaprio after he's completely destroyed, and these guys are trying to, trying to take him with him, trying to, they, honestly, the group is trying to do right by him, uh, but eventually they realize that they're not going to be able to get out of the, the area in time. And everyone's kind of giving up on him, thinking he's dead. So, he, you know, the leader of the group pays a couple guys to stay behind. Unfortunately, one of them is Tom Hardy's character, Fitzgerald, who is just complete ass and wants to give up on him since the beginning. And he stays behind with another kid acting like he just wants to make money. He eventually tricks that kid into going, hey, you know, he's, you know, he's done, it's over. We got, you know, these Native Americans coming. We got to get the hell out of here. So they just abandon him. He pulls him into a grave, throws some dirt on him like he haphazardly like buries him, like he get, just doesn't give a crap, leaves him there. And freaking Leo crawls himself out of there. Mr. Glass, Hugh Glass, uh, crawls himself out of there, crawls himself back to salvation basically. He crawls 
miles and miles, barely surviving off dead carcasses of like animal kills and stuff. He's just eating flesh and stuff, just whatever he can to survive. It's really it's so epic. It's awesome. Um, and how one man actually survived this back in the day. It's crazy. Even if it is only half true or whatever, it's still just amazing. And I'm sure there's going to be some of you out there say, oh, it was a horrible movie, I didn't like it, whatever. All I have to say to you is you, don't, you, you hate art. You hate art because that is a piece of art. That is artwork. You can go back to watching your Transformer movies that they keep pumping out and giving different titles like Avengers or whatever they want to call it today. Uh, you know, I hate these popcorn movies that take no imagination, no thought, no nothing. The Revenant is a piece of art. It is amazing. Check it out. I give it a 10 out of 10. It's already probably after one watch in my top 10, maybe even my top 5 that quickly. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, I will admit, I'm a bit biased. My favorite actor. Uh, I used to hate him a long time ago, but he just keeps, he keeps doing phenomenal movies. What do you want me to say? So check The Revenant out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you have anything you want me to talk about or do, blah, blah, blah. Also, check out my Facebook page. Uh, it's Gator. And also my Twitter, also Gator. Uh, so just look Gator boom, 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 page and like it. Check it out. It's an easier way for you to get direct contact with me if you have any questions you want to ask me directly. I'm more likely to respond on those things because I'm not getting as much traffic as I'm getting now on YouTube. I get so many notifications. Uh, it's kind of hard. I'm trying my best to keep up with you guys. If I've missed your comments, I apologize. Uh, doing my best. Uh, but, you know, it's not a bad thing. We're growing. That's good. Also, saw a couple of my people, both fans, arguing with each other in the comments. Let's not, let's not get at each other. You, you know, we're both part of the Gator Nation. There are a few of us out there, so you guys should be getting along. Getting along. Gelling. You should be friends. You know, uh, brothers in misery, if you will. Uh, anyways, thanks again for stopping by. And as always, I've been Gator, and you've been great. Peace.